Hello! I have this dressing gown on but I do have like a fancy dress on under it because I wanted to dress up today, okay? Don't judge me, it's fun Friday. I mean, it's not Friday for me, but it's Friday for you, so happy Friday. Um, that was really aggressive, actually. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Today, hmm, what am I doing? <laughs> um, today, I'm going to be showing you how I do my nails. Now, I'm going to link uh, a video below because this wasn't my idea. I mean, nails, like, I mean, whose idea was nails? Maybe I'll look it up. I just looked it up. <laughs> Fred Slack. In 1954, Fred Slack. Dad, let's say handy. No, okay. So in 1954, Fred Slack, a dentist, broke his fingernail at work and created an artificial nail as a realistic looking temporary replacement. Ah! Wow! Come on, Fred. Thank you, Fred Slack, for creating nails. I'm going to link everything I use below. So I watched, uh, I think her name's Jordan Lipscomb. I'm not sure how you pronounce her. Sorry. I'll link the video below so you can look at that and then I'll just kind of show you my, like, how I do it. Just because I wanted to do my nails. So that's what we're doing. So step number one. Is this camera annoying how I'm, like, not center? It's annoying, isn't it? Let's fix that. I also done this makeup look. And it'll be up for makeup Monday, so stay tuned for that. First step is cut your nails. Look, I've cut mine already because the thought of like watching someone cut their nails makes me... I'm not going to talk about it because it's going to make me be sick. Okay, so this bit's kind of disgusting. I don't know if I'm going to show you it. But basically... So I do it different from the way that she does it because I'd done it her way at first but they didn't stay on long. Like they were literally off within like a few days and I know every single nail tech is going to like punch me through the camera right now. But I file the nail bed so it's like got something to grip on. I know that's disgusting. You should buff it, I know, but it it's just it's not as good is filing it and I'm okay that if my nails are in bad shape because I can just put acrylics and press on nails on top of it anyway so that makes sense doesn't it? So I'm going to show you one right but then I won't show you the rest because it is actually really disgusting. Like I file it like this. Can you see that? No. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've pretty much done a hand already just because um, my family came back. Uh, my mum was at a dress fitting with um, my uncle's fiance because she is the, what's it called, the uh, maid of honour. Um, so they came back, so she was talking to me for ages and I was just sitting here anyway so I've basically done a hand already but also I've pretty much like not told you any of the steps so I'm gonna just start over a wee bit so what I do is I take like acetone or just a nail polish remover um, and after I wash my hands I use that on a little cotton pad and just go over the nail bed um, just to dry it out even more i know disgusting okay, so i done i done that on all the nails and then i push back the cuticles i didn't have the push back thing so i just used my little nail file and kind of pushed them back and then obviously i done the thing that i showed you with filing the nail beds and now i'm going to pop the nails on so i got these nails from amazon and i'll leave a link below but they come from size 0 to 9 and it's like size 0 is like the big one and then size 9 is the smallest. So I just picked out all my sizes. I use two fours on these ones, a 5 on this one, a 7 on this one, a 1 on this one. Yeah, a 1 on this one. It's a bit big but the 2 is just too small. Uh, and then the glue I use is Elegant Touch uh, Brush On Nail Glue. They have actually put the price up on Amazon. 
for this pre-warning I think it's because of me because of the amount of people that are asking me how I've got my nails done during lockdown and I'm like actually it's just glue and nails that I've put into it. I'm gonna do that so what I do is after I've like done all my prep stuff with my nails I just take the glue and brush and coat the full nail in the video that I watched like that had like made me get all this stuff uh, Jordan's video she let it sit for a minute but I don't do that I take the nail straight away press it on and I hold the nail on for at least 12 seconds and I proper press it down and the good thing about these nails is they already come in that shape and you can just cut them down but I just don't cut them down anymore I've done it for my first set but I like the length of them now and I kind of wish they were a little bit longer but you know um, now my dog's crying oh this morning was so blissful okay so I'm just going to do that for all the nails Oh my god, I'm going to lose it. I need to move out. I watched uh, Flossie's video on her and Olivia and Neil moving in together in London in a flat. And honestly, can I get an invite? I want out of this place. No! I really want to try some like cool type funky nail art. But I don't know if I'm just going to stick wee butterflies on it. And then try nail art another day. Ria, you know I'm filming, please just go in the living room or something. You can talk to him in the living room, you know I'm filming. I won't be doing this for long. You're horrible. When you know I'm filming and you're shouting at the dog. Well, leave him alone then. No, because I'm just walking down the stairs. The dog's staying there. Don't make me get up. I swear to God, do not make me get up. I just want the ladder to be home to shout at them all for me. Okay, and then because I don't oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Bria, just be quiet for a minute, honestly! What did you just say to me? I'm telling Dad. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill her. She's dead. She's actually dead. So because I don't cut them, uh, they do have like a but like a little, you can kind of see it on that middle finger, a little dodgy bit at the top. So I just file that down a wee bit. Just like this. There we go. And then I'm just going to paint them. I'm using, uh, this isn't mine. <laughs> I'm not this bougie. But my mum's Chanel nail polish from years ago in shade Rose Insolent. A very pretty luminous pink so I just give that a wee shake and use this on my nails and then you literally just paint over them it's that easy I need to concentrate so I might go just now and then I'll come back when I'm doing my butterfly things so be back in a bit and do this quick because my camera's going to die but um this is kind of what i'm going for i actually really hate it i'm going to record it from my phone down here basically when i was younger i was obsessed with nail polish and stuff and i'm not going to show you the full collection right that's for another day this is my box of nail polishes like it's actually the size of me. 
to go with my mum to she work well because of coronavirus she doesn't work there just now but she worked at uh Shetler Towson and done all the like old ladies hair and that and uh, I used to go down with her if I was like off school or whatever like during the summer and I would paint all the old ladies nails for like and they would give me like two pounds and stuff like that but I'd be like no I don't want any money like I'm just doing it for fun and I used to, I used to like walk out with like 30 quid or something like that and that's quite good for someone who was like still in primary school but let's get started on the nail art had these for years uh, these butterflies here so I'm using the pink one and the top coat I use is Rimmel London the f top finish one I'll link everything below um, but what I do I'm showing you down here what I do is just dot on where I want it is that right no it's not ignore that bit of glue so dot it on here. My little tool thing that I've had for years. Dip it in the glue that's on my nail already. A butterfly. Like this. And your butterfly's on there. Cute. So I'm just going to quickly do the rest of that. And my laptop ran out of charge, so that's why my ring light's off now. So now you get to see the real me. Lucky you! I've done that, and now I'm going to take the glittery nail polish here. I can just use any glittery nail polish, it's kind of clear, and pop that on top of that nail. Now I'm going to do a top coat on all these before I do the glitter on this one. And then I'm just popping the glitter on top of this one and this will just like give it that extra seal to the butterflies as well. And then I put a top coat over that as well. There you go. See? They kind of look better from far away, don't they? Maybe I'll practice my nail art and then like show you something amazing. But like, see to be honest, for pain, so all this stuff cost me about £23 or something and I've done my nails like a bunch of times since I got the stuff and it's great until I can actually get an appointment with my nail technician. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, I have this makeup look coming out on Monday. Also, I'm thinking about doing like a clothes thing so if anyone would be interested in that, please let me know down below in the comments. Um, tell me everything I've done wrong in the comments. Also, someone uh, ask Olivia and Flossie if I can move in with them. I'll honestly sleep on the couch. Like, I don't take up much room. I'll do their nails for free. Mm. Mm. I'm so happy I have nails on it. I'm like... Me at work when any man says, how do you work with those nails on? Very well, actually. Shade. Okay, bye.